I am the first dwarf to ever step foot on this planet. Obviously by accident, things didn't go as planned. I'm gonna scoop all the pieces so we have some extra materials. Oh, my hammer. What's a dwarf without his hammer? To be honest with you. Good thing it didn't fall far. Let's scoop the rest of the pieces and parts. A bit of a colonizer dwarf. Oh, but something called us to this specific location, obviously. There you go, grab that roof. I've salvaged what I could. To build a now we gotta repair the mech with all those excess pieces. There we go. Twiddle the bits a little bit, or not those bits. Jesus, why we gotta repair it from right there? That's what we gotta do. Only his ball sack was injured. There we go. Couple more smacks to the ball sack. Never hurt anybody. And then we should be able to ride this puppy for miles. There we go. Hop on in. And they're gonna throw us right into the building of the game. We can set up our little home shack just like that. Which I believe is gonna like claim a little area for us. And then there's also this raven thing. I don't know what the ravens are all about, but I have a couple of pet ravens. I guess we'll find out eventually. He wants us to gather a bit of wood, which we just do from the back of our mech. There we go. That should be enough. All right, one more tree. And then we need to put those into our main shelter. There we go. Throw that in there. Stone lasts for ages. You can build a shelter out of wood, but you cannot build a house without stone. Now we need a little bit of stone. You can build a house out of wood, but you cannot build a house out of stone. I don't know what he just said. Look, berries. I'm gonna grab those. Nice. He really likes the berries for some reason. I guess it's nice to find food on a weird abandoned planet. This looks like a good place to dig. At least we think it's abandoned. Look at these scratches. There's scratches on it? We see that. Off. That's it. That's these not good. Lands. We are the first to explore here. Uh oh. What's that sound? Oh, I guess we're gonna get introduced to the enemies already. I'm what curious what we're gonna be fighting. Some purple goo. Ugh. Oh, it's got like some combo attacks. So if we time it right on that in that hitbox up top above my my dwarf there. You can kind of get some combo hits off. And then we need to destroy the nest. Do we just do that by smacking it? Yeah, see, there we go. We hit the full combo right there. Wonder if we unlock new combos in the future? Some different weapons and things, maybe? That'd be sick. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Nice and closed off now. Or do I need a little bit more stone still, probably? Yep, need 10 more stone. There we go. That should be enough stone. Now what? Build a mana spring. Well, how convenient that there's a mana spring right here. And then we're just going to put a mana sucker right on there. To suck up all that mana. Not sure what mana is going to be used for. And look, we can actually switch between characters. I just switched to the dragon. Which it looks like it's kind of like a scout of some kind. Whoa, look at all that up there. That's insane. But it looks like we have... Actually, fire breath as well. That's crazy. And then we can also switch to the raven. Hmm, okay, I'm seeing some different mechanics. Ravens can be sent to the northern clans to carry goods and people back over here, but we need to meet the requirements to do that. Okay, so we need to put a sawmill down in here, I believe. This looks like a pretty prime location for a sawmill if I've ever seen one. Here we go. Sawmill. Wait, was, is that a good spot? I don't know if that's a good spot. I hope it's a good spot. It's right next to the woods, so it, it's got to be. Connect the building to the mana pipeline. Oh, okay. So mana is like essentially the resource or the energy that we use on this planet. I see now. So there we go. I got it connected, but it only goes to like right here. And then we need to do another one to right here and then connect it to the sawmill. Oh, it stops right there. Unlucky. Oop, there we go. Plus 400 wood. Beautiful. And look at the little pipeline on the ground. I'm liking the way that's looking. And now they want a stone mine as well. And I'm also liking the way this looks. This is super dope. Uh-oh. 
the sun sets and we get attacked by a horde? That's not good. Yeah. I think some evil things are about to come around. But luckily, it looks like we can build defensive walls and defensive turrets. So a defensive wall, I'm assuming, we're gonna wanna probably position around our house, right? I don't know how much wood we have right now, but I think that wood cutting thing has given us quite a bit. Here we go, put that there, put you there. Okay, and then the trees are in the way, so we're gonna have to get these down. But a bing, but a boom. Here we go. Oh! Here we go. Beautiful. We got defensive walls around our little hut. And then it wants us to place down some turrets. Defensive turret on that corner, why not? And then maybe a little defensive turret on this corner too. It looks like I gotta break down this tree first. Beautiful, and then we're gonna put that on that corner. And I just saw this little like archway over here. What's going on with this? Activate? Um, what did I just activate? Is it like a, t oh, ancient renewal point. All right, so that's like a respawn, maybe a fast travel if we find more of those in the future. And then we need to connect our turrets to the mana pipeline. But we need more wood. Do I pick up wood from the sawmill? Or does it just actively give me wood slowly but surely? Oh, you know what? I think it might just... In yeah, it's over time it's going to give me wood. But I'm going to have to chop some up myself too. There we go. That should be enough wood to get these mana pipelines running. Beautiful. We'll attach that guy to right there and then put you onto the tower. Okay, wait. I missed. Wait a second. Remove that. There we go. And then from this one, we need to go to that other tower. But I think the thing is, if that tower right there breaks... I don't think this tower will have mana pipelined to it, if that makes sense, so. But I need a little bit more stone. I can grab these little ones in the area. There we go. And we can go ahead and set up a couple balloon towers. I'm going to put one over here. And then one over here, so we have all of the corners protected. But those are both going to need mana pipelines, so even more wood! Hopefully Nightfall doesn't come too soon, or we might have a problem. Uh-oh. The mood and the vibes just, like, lightly changed when the sun started going down. That's scary. There we go. We're slap you right there. And then we can just connect you to this little pipeline on the corner. I'm also very curious what these traps are going to do. Like, I, I understand, like, a little crossbow turret on a tower, but what is the balloon thing going to do? Are you going to attach balloons or make balloon animals for the enemies coming in? All right, well, hopefully I defended the correct thing. This is, like, our main house. So I'm assuming that's what they're going to attack. And we also need to make a few houses as well. But here it comes. Nighttime's rocking. The rain's coming. Oh gosh, I just saw lightning hit the ground. What is all this? We got a little bit of weather? Okay. So they're talking about some type of nest. Purge the island from monsters in their nest. So that's like our overall goal now. Okay, he's getting zapped. Oh, the balloon towers funnel electricity and zap them. They're going like full Tesla coil, it looks like. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. We might just be able to chill. No, this is a lot of enemies. Okay. Let's fight where we can. We gotta time our swings better so we can get our wombo combos. There we 
There we go. Wombo combo. Leave my turret alone. Come on. There we go. There's like some different types of lizards mixed in here. Maybe like a melee and a ranged one. I'm just going to call them lizards because that's kind of what they look like. This guy doesn't look like a lizard though. That one's just an ugly mug. If I've ever seen one. Ooh. There we go. No, 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 no. Leave my mana alone, you mother trucker. Oh, I should have put turrets at each of my little things. I can't just defend the main base. Although it does seem like that's where a majority of them went to, so. It was probably for the better. These are pretty easy to craft. It doesn't look like it got fully destroyed either. We probably just have to repair it in the morning. Hit the wombo combo. There we go. Full combo. That's a tanky son of a gun. Ugh. Oh, there's even more? Oh no, you're just 1 HP. See you later, bud. Is that it? That looks like it is it. So they broke my little mana tube here. We're gonna have to fix that. There we go. Beautiful. And they broke the one on this one as well. We can just reattach that. The mana well is still pumping, luckily. And we can hold F to repair. Do a little saw action. Bada beep, bada boop. There we go. Yep. Keep it up, keep it up. So we need to put walls around all of our stuff, it looks like. With at least some defenses. A majority are going to go after the main village, but there's still a lot that are going to be going after some of the more mining items. And it also looks like there's no way for me to repair this, so we're going to have to remove it and replace it. There we go. And now we have the overall objective of purging the islands of all of the monsters and nests. And we also need to build houses. I'm assuming those houses are going to bring people in that'll maybe defend for us. Some other dwarves. We call to the motherland and get some reinforcements. Okay, there we go. Our production is back up and running. We've got stone and wood happening. But then I'm going to go into dwarf mode, and then I can repair my mech from here. Via the ball sack, as one does. There we go, and then we can just hop right back in. Wow, I'm really liking the whole, like, mech separate from the dwarf mechanic. I like being able to walk around outside of my mech. Well, let's go see if there's any monsters or nests on the island that we need to take out immediately. Everything back at home should slowly kind of produce itself, right? And we got another mana well over here. Another mana well over there. But I do see a little bit of purple goo coming out of this creepy twee over here. So we're going to have to fight that, I bet. I'm going to activate this thing. And then look at that. There's another one up there. But maybe we, like, get booster packs or upgrades for our mech in the future to be able to, like, go up there properly. Got a dark stone. Don't mind if I do. And then if we time our wombo combos, we just keep poning this. Ugh. It's like a, it's like one of those gemstones. What are they called? The ones they cut in half and sell for an outrageously overpriced rock, you know? Uh, 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 oh, there we go. Okay, so now we need to build houses for more doors to join the colony, even though it's a little sketchy here. So they're kind of sending these people into quite a horrible area. But nonetheless, we must listen to our superiors. And I think probably putting these houses kind of within range of the towers I've already built is probably a decent idea. But we're gonna need a lot more stone. I'm also now thinking it might be kind of smart, but I guess we don't have a mana overflow yet or like an under managed amount of mana because there's two pools over there that I could kind of connect to the system. But at the moment, I guess we have enough. So let me just keep collecting a little bit of stone and get these houses put up. But I am curious if there's maybe some other quarry locations or maybe some other wood or something that we can gather. Oh gosh, okay. Don't stand on top of the stone while you're mining it. Today I learned. So I want to adventure up this hill a little bit and see if there's something else. Oh, something's going on up here. 
What in the hell is that? Oh, is it like the main evil tower? I'm almost certain that this is one of the ancient Escoim ports. These half buildings, half machines, guided airships, and service oh. harbor. So some dwarves have been here before? An Eskowim technology. Ooh. This weird Celtic knot thing? Hmm. Blueprint to a thrust engine. Don't mind if I do. That's awesome. So as I mentioned before, it looks like we're also going to start getting some mech upgrades as time goes on. But I am still a little curious about this tower up here. Ooh. A fox slightly tainted? Fox magic illness. Hmm. So can we tame stuff as well? That looks like a really good mana spot, if you ask me. And it looks like I can just extract mana for myself. I wasn't at max mana. I'm not sure what mana does, but I'll take it. Don't mind if I do. But it looks like this port needs to be connected via a mana tube. So maybe we go ahead and build one of those. Yep, we build one of these things. And then we connect the mana tube to it. It's even got like a cute little path for it and everything. There we go. Something's not right here. The tower is saturated with dark magic. This crystal is the source of it. Let's take it off. So we gotta pull off the tainted crystal. Place a blue crystal. Navigation stone. Huh. I read about it. Let's search the crash site. Perhaps the navigation stone is there. We can pull the navigation stone out of our own ship. Hello, navigation stone. Is it the big blue stone right there, maybe? Crash trail ends here. Navigation stone is not here. Oh, I have to fly with her now. Oh, okay. So this is where they're going to start kind of telling us what her use is. Can she pick stuff up for me, maybe? Well, let's go ahead and select her in the menu. Yep, pop off. Go on up there, Spyro. See if you can't see what's going on up here. <laughs> nice. There's the blue crystal. Oh, and we can grab it with the dragon. That's awesome. Okay. To the grumpy dwarf. Whoa, look at all that. That's like lava or something? I don't know. Oh, I ooh, I didn't see all that. Well, we gotta be careful not to fall off of that. That's for sure. Whee! And then I can bring it right back to the mech. And then we return and land on top. And then we go put the crystal in the port. Here we go. Slap the crystal in the hole. Beautiful. There we go. We fixed it. I don't know what it does, but we fixed it. it says it could be used for porting. And we hook it up to the mana juice right there. All right, forget the fox for now. We got to put up some houses, men. We need some, some houses. We also need to connect our houses to the mana flow. Our current consumption is at... 70 and we have 170 so yeah we're gonna be big chilling let's slap down some more houses and since doing all that exploring my stuff back here has actually been just like actively mining and stuff for me so like i have a whole bunch of materials to work with which is super nice there we go and then we hook up that house to the mana and then i need to hook up this house to the mana and bada bing bada boom we have three houses but obviously the people coming in are also going to need water. You know so let's set up a before? well. Generation after generation. It's good to finally understand them. Let's go. Here we go. Nice little water well, which I'm just going to sneak in wherever I can. I'll just throw one right there. Hook that up to the mana as well. <laughs> as well. <laughs> and now that we have everything we need for people to live here, and our mana consumption is above demand by 60. Okay, we're getting closer. We can send a raven to our dwarves, and they're going to send some people. Here we go. And send the raven. Did I just whisper trip. sweet nothings to it? Or are they going to, like, I can't believe be it. like, Atto, that's a raven. Let's follow him. He 
will succeed. Yes, you must believe in the Raven. He'll get back. So now I'm assuming the dwarves are going to come in from the port that we repaired. So let's go up there. Uh-oh. Here we go. They're all coming in. Yes. Bring the goodies. Where's the grog? I'm thirsty. All this working's got me parched, man. Who's this? The lady of the colonists? Hello. They touch each other's shoulders and hit her in the head with a hilt of your hammer. That's how dwarves do it. And now we get the workshop. And as you guys saw before, we found that blueprint, which told us to go back to the workshop and then we get thrusters or something like that. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, and we just upgrade. Oh, look at that. So our main base gets upgraded into a workshop, and then we can enter the workshop. Gears, a gear crafting blueprint. Use these gears to craft more complex mechanisms or repair them. Then we have the chimney, a chimney crafting blueprint. Use it for building workshops, mechanisms, and other buildings. And then this is the exo kim thing that I want to craft because that's going to give us extra jumping. And then boop 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 bam bam. And then we put that on our mech. But there is, indeed, a storm coming in. Which means there's going to be some evildoers, I believe, coming down. Yep, see that lightning just summoned something. Um, I unfortunately didn't build more defenses, but this is a mortar tower that actually looks like it might cover everything in this little region over here. So I'm going to build one of those. And then we just need to make sure we mana well it. Because that, look at that radius that it's covering. It just shot off. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. That mortar tower should help all the other stuff that was getting attacked before. Uh, 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 uh. Leave the colonists alone. Uh, uh. There we go, the mortar tower doing its work. There we take this guy out. There we go. Nope, leave the colonists alone, buddy. He's getting nice and zapped up, though. Really bad at the combos. I'm just kind of, like, spamming instead of timing my hits. There we go. There we go. There it is. I'm hitting the tree and hitting him. Multitasking. Don't mind me. I'm a survival expert. And anything over here getting attacked, or... Did the mortar do its job? It looks like the mortar might have actually did its job. I just saw more lightning come down, though. What other defenses do we have? The balloon tower for Zappy. Raven watchtower sees danger from afar. And then we have... Oh, we have a gate that I can put down at home. And then the defensive turret. I think putting another Zappy boy right here. Just to help defend over here isn't a bad idea. So the enemies come at night and in storms. So there's multiple instances where they can attack. And the guild chief wants to have a chat now. Guild chief, where are you? At my airship? Is that what you're doing? You're over here? You're gonna bitch and moan about me crashing, huh? Aren't you? I congratulate you. Oh. Congratulate you on achieving your first Thanks. Foul scent? Okay. Thank you, mother. Oh, it's my mom? Or do they just call Chief's mom? Thanks, mommy. But she said she had a foul stench coming from an island, and that's the next location for the base. <laughs> How does that make sense? Make it make sense. So is this the smelly island? With the old ruins on it? Alright, how are we gonna do this? I haven't... I haven't... There we go, wait. Okay, oh, okay. Well, you know what? That was bound to happen eventually, right? All right, let's try that again. I felt like that jump went up more than out, so I'm a little concerned by that. And it's almost nighttime, so we're about to get attacked. So we got one more try at this before nightfall. Oh, see what? Oh, and then I have a booster pack as well where I hold space. Oh, I see now. Well, there it goes again. And things are starting to spawn, and my mech is at 109 HP. 
The mortar's popping off, but uh, yeah, I need to repair this puppy, so we should probably do that really fast to get to work on the balls, man. Come on. All right, all nice and repaired. Seems like there's just like a couple of little enemies popping in up top before the crazy nightfall enemies are going to come in. Um, what is our current daily consumption across the board? We have 40 above demand. So it might be beneficial to make more defenses over here, maybe. Like just like a normal shooty bagooty tower, maybe? Like a plain old archer tower right there. Never hurt anybody. Connect that to the mana source. There we go. And now we have all of our stuff defended across the board. Nice and safe. And real quick, I want to make a gate because I don't have one of those yet. Just put that right there. That should be enough. Go ahead and close the gate. There we go. Now we're nice and defended. Oh, it might be a peaceful nighttime because we already killed everything on the island, I guess? There's like some micro spawns up top, but like my mortar is really handling that. So maybe we could just go over to the other island at night. We could always come back if things start getting a little spicy and shushy down here, but we're okay for now. And let's try this for the third time. There we go. We could hold space bar to hover. And we are okay, maybe? <laughs> there we go. That's what we needed. But I guess it just takes some getting used to. It is a playtest after all, right? There we go. And then I might be able to just do a normal jump up to this. There we go. And then a little hop, skip, and a jump. I don't know if I can climb. So I'm just going to do another jump. There we go. And a little float down to here. And I'm hoping that there's a mana spring up here because we need more mana in order to do more jumps. You can look around the island from this viewpoint. Welcome to Assassin's Creed. Maybe this is going to kind of like unlock some objectives on the map for us. Look at that big snowy mountain with an airship crash up there too. That's different. Looks like there's actually a lot to do in this playtest. Wow. Never mind. Looks like that was the full playtest. And to be honest, this game is really cool. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens when it comes around. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today. If you guys want more videos, of course, subscribe. If you're new here, hit that like button. And of course, the notification icon. Make sure that you get notified when a video goes live. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys in the next one.